head back to studio then. And Mazwe Majola from the Worldwide Institute of Leadership and Development joins me now to talk about leadership uh, in times of uncertainty, <laughs> Mazwe. Uh, and, and, and I don't think we're overstating it, right? I mean, but in addition to the challenges of service delivery that someone like Jeff Makubo uh, walks into uh, in the city of Johannesburg with all its demands uh, and the high expectations uh, of residents, it, part of it will be about how he comes uh, into the scene, politically at least, uh, putting aside the administration for a moment, but politically it's been a divisive process. Uh, going into this, uh, it was highly contested. Does that weigh in in any way in how he, um, you know, he stamps his authority in leadership of, of, the, of the municipality? It's going to affect him a lot. It's going to affect him a lot because, um, uh, number one, because he's a very tainted uh, leader. He, he takes over this position as a very tainted leader. And also, there are reports that initially even the PEC did not uh, originally um, favor him. Uh, and obviously, subsequently, then they, they, they put his, his name forward. He does have a, an advantage, though, because he has been there before. Uh, he was the MMC responsible for, responsible for finance, so he knows the dynamics and the challenges of the city. However, he's going to spend a lot of his time for the next 18 months or so before the 2021 uh, local government elections. He's going to spend a lot of time um, defending his uh, uh, his character yeah. uh, instead of. Uh, uh, advancing service delivery for the citizens of That already city. started yesterday. We saw after his <coughs> announcement uh, and his election the questions being raised and of yeah. course there was a bit of a pushback mm -hmm. uh, from the ANC officials who were there who were saying that, but hang on, this man has been a councillor all along yeah. and you as the media have not been raising these issues and of mm -hmm. course that's not really true mm -hmm. because this, the reporting on that really never stopped. Mm -hmm. uh, his alleged links to uh, companies such as regiments capital and also, um, you know, contracts um, that a company that he had interests in had with the city of Johannesburg basically raising issues of a conflict of interest. Does that distract him, though? Can he assert his agenda with the limited time that is remaining, uh, keeping in mind that the ANC would want him to do well in this yeah. limited space yeah. so that they draw parallels to say, you saw when we came in, things started moving by way of service delivery? It, it, it's, going to, it's, going, it's going to be a big factor for him because uh, this position for the ANC now, it, it's, good and, it's good and bad for them. There is a huge advantages and there are also disadvantages. Within the next 18 months, ANC uh, moving towards the, the, the 2021, it's other ANC asset itself and then shows itself to, to the people of Johannesburg to say, here we are, uh, please vote for us in terms of what they will be doing within the limited term or as they mess it up. Because unfortunately it's a test for them uh, uh, that within these 18 months can, can we trust you? Can we put you back again? Here's the opportunity and they must thank Helen Zille uh, who, <laughs> who moved to DA and dislodged the whole coalition uh, government. So they must uh, thank, uh, they must thank, uh, they must thank uh, Helen Zillow really uh, that they managed to get this position. However, it's, 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 it's a thin line for them. It's either they mess it up or they, they make use of it. Linked to yeah. that, uh, and as a final question to you, in my opening comment, um, I, I, I'm sort of undecided about how I feel about these coalition governments. And I was saying, uh, on on the one hand, the instability can't be good, yeah. uh, certainly when it affects the delivery of services and the function, uh, functioning of the yeah. municipal councils. But I did touch on the other element of introducing this insecurity yes. of tenure, uh, because you know the security of tenure in a one-party dominant uh, system such as ours can breed complacency. What's your take? What, what, what do you think? The, the, the dynamics of the, the, the politics of coalitions is huge. 
because uh, literally it's a forced marriage, it's a forced relationship. You are taking two opposing parties and then you said come together. The, w w these parties, they have huge differences, uh, uh, differ they differ on fundamental issues, on the policies, on the, on, uh, on, on the leadership styles, uh, on, on, on their manifestos, uh, on their values, on their cultures, on their backgrounds, yeah. in all sorts of things, and then we are forcing them and say, lead, come together, and it, it's, it's, it's a huge problem. Sure. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for coming through, Maswe Majola, giving me insights there about the situation playing itself out in as far as coalition governments uh, at local level are concerned.